With the beta gimbal assembly work uh, having been completed, the next uh, task for Whitson and Tony was the inspection of the uh, contaminated starboard solar alpha rotary joint, the huge joint that rotates uh, the starboard solar arrays in Ferris wheel fashion to track the sun. No, no, you could. I guess got on the thermal cover too early. And a, a variety of contaminant uh, particulate matter uh, was found uh, during uh, the course of removal of most of uh, the covers around the circumference of the solar alpha rotary joint, or the SARGE as it is known. And then I put the tether on it, pull it in, and uh, kind of... One of the 12 trundle bearing assemblies that connect the outboard and inboard race rings uh, that uh, enable the joint to pivot uh, in a circular fashion. Uh, that trundle bearing assembly number five was removed from its mount along with the mount itself from the race rings and was uh, placed in a crew lock bag and has been brought inside the station to be returned to Earth on the shuttle Atlantis on the STS-122 mission uh, scheduled to launch no earlier than January 10th. Yeah, my SCU is already on, Dan, so whenever you get ready, okay. go ahead and do that. Again, uh, today's inspection designed to collect uh, even more data than before in two previous uh, inspections of the Sarge uh, to further enable uh, engineers here on the ground uh, to uh, continue their detailed analysis of uh, what may be causing that contamination and what can be done uh, to alleviate it if possible. I know you guys have uh, looked each other over at the work site, but if you happen to see any uh, debris that would be of a concern for Yuri on each other or on, your, or on yourself, uh, be sure to uh, note that to him. So he will be protected with goggles. Uh, uh, but uh, if you see anything, Hi. just point it out. Okay. Well, okay. Well. I have no big debris. I just have a little bit of gray on the back of my glass. Yeah, and I... Everything on the palms is worn off. And uh, Peggy, uh, you say your SCU is locked. Uh, if you confirm that, you can go water off. Okay, I'm going to take my water off. You can see that the uh, outer thermal cover now closed on the Quest airlock. with the crew and the uh, cue card uh, to repressurize uh, the airlock that will mark the official end of today's spacewalk. And I've got that situation that you had where, uh, where it's uh, try to be. Try and roll on your back. That seemed to help me when I did it. Uh, while you're waiting here, folks, uh, we're going to get the hatch closed, and then uh, we're going to go LOS for a little while, and uh, Yuri will probably have to take over. I won't be here, but golly, I've enjoyed uh, working with you folks today. Yeah, it's been great. Thank you so much for supporting. It was nice to have all your experience out here with us, and uh, uh, I, I don't think we got through as many as we thought we would, but uh, hopefully we got a lot of data for the folks on the ground and uh, samples and photos. And thanks a bunch, Joe, for everything. Yeah, thanks. Now, you guys did outstanding. Don't don't feel like, uh, I mean, we were just guessing on how much stuff you could get done. And the, what you got done was what, uh, you know, what should have been done. It was perfect. So uh, excellent job. Look forward to talking to you later. Thanks, Joe. Take it easy. And Tomas concurs. Oh, Merry Christmas. If we yeah. talk to you before this. Hey, thanks. I'll probably send you a note. <laughs> Veteran spacewalker Joe Tanner here in the uh, flight control room, who was part of the STS-115 crew uh, back in uh, September of uh, 2006 uh, that installed the uh, P3, P4 solar array truss system on the port side of the station. He was also uh, part of the STS-97 crew that uh, installed the P6 solar array truss the uh, first set of solar arrays uh, for the International Space Station. Uh -huh. 
And Peggy and Dan, your go to close that. Okay, Dan will lose you in, in 30 seconds for at least nine minutes, and Yuri will pick up from here. Okay. We'll be passing out of range of our uh, tracking and data relay satellite system uh, in just a few seconds, uh, recontacting the International Space Station about nine and a half minutes from now. Spacecraft communicator Tom Marshburn uh, taking over uh, CAPCOM duties here in the ISS flight control room. Yeah, it looks like it's seated now. As we move out of range of communications with the station, a programming note, uh, we're planning on conducting a uh, post-spacewalk uh, briefing here at the Johnson Space Center on NASA television at 12.30 p.m. Central Time, 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That will uh, include Mike Suffredini, the International Space Station Program Manager, Ginger Carrick, uh, today's flight director for the spacewalk by Peggy Whitson and Dan Tawney, and uh, the lead Expedition 16 spacewalk officer, Tomas Gonzalez Torres. The official duration of today's spacewalk Six hours, 56 minutes, the spacewalk concluding with the repressurization of the Quest airlock at 10.46 a.m. Central Time.